I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video so today's video, I am going to be showing you this mermaid tail nail and oh my god, it is absolutely stunning. As you saw then, I have a full collection of the Outer Space Rainbow Tools from Glitter Planet. I'll have them linked down below for you guys. But today I'm going to be using the Stoic Scissors to cut the unicorn film. So this unicorn film is available from GlitterPlanetUK.com. I'll have the link for you guys down below if you want to go ahead and check it out. Hopefully it is in stock. I know it's so beautiful, it sells out super fast and it's super affordable as well and you get seven colors so I'm using this pinky purple one because I thought it would be super cute and dreamy you know so I'm just cutting out sort of like I folded over the unicorn film and then I'm cutting out the shape of a tail fin or what kind of shape that I would presume would be a mermaid's tail um, and it sort of looks like a bit of a mustache you know and once I've got a rough shape, I'm coming back in with the scissors just to trim down any raggedy bits and rough edges. And I'm doing that because you're not going to get much chance to really file this design because it's such a delicate, fragile design to actually do in the first place. So you want to get this as bob on, as spot on as possible so that you don't have to do any refining. So here I am just trimming and then once I've done that I'm just going to go ahead and cut the two, well the, the single piece into two separate pieces so that we've got two sides of the fins that are separate. I was trying to figure out how I was going to apply this as I was sort of going along and at first I was going to apply it as one big piece, you know, just by the centre of this piece of film. But then as I started kind of getting into the video a little bit, I was like, hmm, I think it would be better if we attached one side at a time. So then that's where I decided to cut this piece in half and go from there. So you'll have two pieces like this. I did go ahead and trim them just slightly more because I didn't want them look to look too oversized for the nail that we are doing, even though they're gonna be ridiculously large on the end of the nail anyway. We just want it to be all in proportion as such. So for today's video, I am going to be using Unicorn Film. I have um, UV Rave, which was the clear blue iridescent, and then Sugar Plum. They are absolutely stunning. I love these glitters so much. And UV Rave does look slightly yellow in the pot, but once you apply it, apply it over darker colours, the shift is absolutely unreal. Like, seriously. So I've just applied, well I've just placed my unicorn film onto the top of a plastic bag, like a little small baggie. This way I can work on it nicely without having to worry about it sticking to anything or getting, you know, all messy. So I've gone ahead and just applied clear acrylic over one of the sides and then I'm pressing in some of those glitters to the end. And in this section you can actually encapsulate whatever you like into that. So you could make some tiny little scales or... I don't know, chunky bits of hollow glitter, um, some foil, no not foil, you know what I mean, the little gold, the gold leaf, that's what it's called. So you could put some gold leaf which would look bomb as well, um, but I just wanted to keep it simple because it was the first time I'm trying out this technique and design, so yeah, go ahead and do that and then I will encapsulate the entire thing in clear and allow that to set.
So now I've finished doing both sides of my mermaid tail fins, I'm coming in and I'm going to actually sculpt the main body of the tail or just a long coffin nail. So I've applied my nail form from Nailmate and they are available at glitterplanetuk.com and now I'm coming in with my extended nail bed and this is a nude cover which will be available in our core system and it will be launching in 2018 and so many people are super excited I am so excited as well but at the minute I still can't give you guys a definite date and I don't want to just sort of like roughly say it's, mm, it's coming out on this date and then it's like months down the line the only thing that I can say is that it will be 2018 unless something really bad happens and I'm just like I don't think so but everything so far is on track so we should be good to go sometime in 2018 okay I keep having a joke in the group on Facebook saying that knowing me because I'm just such a perfectionist and everything has to be on point it's gonna be the 31st of December at 11 59 p.m launch time you know <laughs> that'd be so hilarious just saying it's not really gonna be that but damn so I've applied the extended nail bed and then I'm coming in with a cuticle bead and I'm allowing that acrylic to do the work for me. There's no mess, no fuss, literally just control the product where it flows. And as you can see, even though that was quite a wet bead, did it run down the side? Absolutely not. This acrylic system is life, for me anyway. Hopefully you guys love it just as much as I do. And yes, once we've done that extended nail bed, we're going to come in with some clear acrylic that's a big fat lie, coloured acrylic from Glam and & Glitz and also some of the Sugar Plum Glitter as well. So this is the colour that I'm using and it's called Teresa. I'll have the link to their website down below if I remember, remember to pop it in. And this is just like a mauve pink kind of colour and it's really nice. I do find them a little bit different to work with. They are, this is, like I said, these are the first lot that I have used from Glam and & Glitz and it's not a long time that I have been using them. I find them very runny and I find that when I'm picking up the powders, it's sort of like they're almost a chalky consistency if that makes any sense, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Like I'll pick it up as I do with any other acrylic but it doesn't polymerize on the brush. The liquid doesn't seem to absorb into the powder as much as other acrylics that I use and there just seems to be a lot of fallout of product rather than it creating a nice bead and there is quite a bit of marbling in certain colours as well which can be quite annoying especially when you do actually pay quite a lot for these like I think I mean they're not a lot for the amount that you get but they can be a lot especially if it's excluding that it's I can't remember what mine were I think there was between £8.50 and £10.50 for each pot um so yeah, it's not bad man, but like damn Daniel, you need to sort out the quality. I mean, I'm going to use them a little bit more and I'm going to give a full review on the 26 colours that I bought and let you guys know my full thoughts, but for just for like a first impressions, they are quite runny. Again, that's something that you do get used to. Whether you're used to a runny system, a dry system, a medium system, you sort of get used to... The brand that you are working with and you really get to know how it works. Okay, so now I've applied my coloured acrylic and extended the tip and the free edge of the nail using the glitter as well. I'm coming in with the clear and just encapsulating the entire nail and then I'll go ahead and file and buff and shape and everything like that and then we are ready to get the mermaid tail attached and make this look magical and just beautiful.
So to apply the fins, I'm just going to come in with some clear acrylic to the side of each nail, hold the fin in place that we made earlier, and just apply a little bit of pressure, enable that acrylic to set, and once it's set, you can go and reinforce it with a, li a little bit more clear acrylic to the front and back, making sure that you press it down nice so that it lays seamlessly and it's not all lumpy and bumpy because then it's just going to look ugly and you don't want that. You don't want no fugly nails, you know. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll do it on both sides and then I'll be back to just add some details and show you the final result. Also, if any of you guys were wondering what brush I am using, it is the Magic Stick from Glitter Planet and it is the size number 10. It's absolutely amazing and incredible. My all time fave, obviously, because I made it, I created it and it's hollow. I mean, come on. So yeah, I'll have that linked down below for you guys if you want to go ahead and check it out because it's bomb. So I'm just coming in with some gel top coat and I'm applying that to the nail and I'm using this today to actually apply my crystals and rhinestones and little alloy pieces because I literally couldn't find my glue anywhere. I do not advise doing this because they're literally for one not going to stay in place very well and two they're just going to come off after like not very long so not very long wearing for your clients but it's fine to do for like a youtube video if you're going to be taking it off straight away which i was doing so it wasn't really a problem and i'm using my wax pencil to pick up the crystals and alloy charms and honestly absolutely love this pencil it's available at glitterplanetuk.com and it makes applying crystals and little pieces of nail art absolutely effortless it is super easy to do it would be better if i had the glue because Obviously it then sticks straight away, but because it was gel, things kept moving and sliding about. And even once I'd placed them, they just kept sliding down the nail. It was so annoying. But yes, the nail art wheels as well are available from glitterplanetuk.com and I'm also using the AB mixed pot of crystals. So I'll have everything, as I said, linked for you guys down below. But yeah, I'm just gonna apply these and then cure it in the lamp to secure them. So now I've finished top coating everything and everything's cured and sealed in. I'm coming in with Nailmates 3D number no. 2 acrylic brush and this is just going to help me create some nice fine really super thin and even lines around that tail. It's just going to add some more detail and depth to it because it, it just needed a little something but not too much to where it takes away from the whole initial you know, thing. So I just thought that this would be a nice little added touch. So I'm coming in and doing that and then that is literally it. So I'll let you guys watch this and then I'll show you the final result.
Okay guys, so this is the final result. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved creating this nail. I think it looks so magical and a full set inspired by this would look absolutely bomb. Like seriously, I know it's not practical and you wouldn't wear it for an everyday nail, but for a cover shoe or a competition or something like that, it does need a bit more refining, but yeah, it's bomb. Here I am just snapping it off, you know, as you do, because I had to remove it. I couldn't exactly sleep, live, eat like that. Like it would have been disastrous. And then I'll shorten it down. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back.